From lying down, let's place both feet flat on the floor, knees bent, hands come beside the thighs, palms facing down, and roll your chest nice and open. Curl your tailbone under, let's lift your hips up towards the sky, and since we've already warmed up those calves, spread the toes a little bit wider and see if you can lift those heels. Make sure there's no pressure on your neck at all, shoulders rooting down, squeeze and contract those glutes because you can, because you're strong, let's hold here. Now if you'd still like a little bit more of a challenge, let's start to pulse. Inhale to lower a little bit, exhale to contract and lift. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Squeeze those glutes each time you bring it up. Five more, five, four, three, contract, engage. Two more, last time because you can, and then slowly roll the spine back down. Imprint the lower back onto the mat, then come back into that neutral curve. Rolling over onto one side, extend both legs out onto the mat, nice and long. And just take a look down, make sure your body's in one long line. Head relaxes on your upper arm. This hand can either come onto your top hip or right in front of you to help with your balance. Let's pick up that top leg, flex your foot. So the toes are pointing towards your shin. Let's draw little circles here. So small that we're not moving our hips at all. We're keeping them nice and tight, nice and controlled. Five, four, three, two, and opposite directions. Five, four, three, two, and draw those squares like we did in that warm up. Keep it nice and tight, nice and controlled. The four corners of each square and go opposite directions now. Four, three, breathe through it. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Last square here and let's get into triangles. Find the three sides of that triangle. Make sure those hips are not moving at all. Keep it nice and steady, nice and controlled. This movement comes from coming from the femur, rotating in the hip joint. Go opposite directions with your triangle. Last shape, last side, we've got this here. Three, two, last time, and relax that top leg. Coming into the banana, inhale, top leg lifts. Exhale, bottom comes to meet it. Exhale, both legs lower down. No momentum here. Inhale, top of the glute lifts. Exhale, inner thigh engages to lift. Exhale, both feet lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Three more. Two. Last time. Beautiful. Coming into that clam, bend the knees, lift your heels, keep the feet suspended in space. Exhale, open that top thigh. Only open that top thigh so that your hips stay stable and secure. You're not opening that top hip open to the ceiling. We're keeping one hip stack right on top of another. We've got three more. Two, last time, and lower both legs down. Both feet come down, push into the mat, let's make our way onto the other side so that we're nice and even. Both legs extend nice and low, head relaxes on your upper arm. Upper hand can come onto your hip or in front of you to help with your balance. If there's any discomfort underneath of that lower hip, roll up the mat or use a little cushion or sweater underneath of the hip. Top leg lifts, let's draw those circles. And again, this is just the femur rotating in the hip joint. That hip is not moving at all. We're keeping it so secure. That's what Pilates is all about, keeping it controlled. Keep your core engaged as well. This is gonna help support your hips. Go opposite directions with these circles. Five, four, three, two. Let's move into squares now. Find the corners of your squares. Just by changing that movement a tiny bit can add so much into the exercise. Three, two, last time. Go opposite direction here. You've got it. We want this movement as articulate as possible so we can really have to activate our brain. We really have to think about this movement. And let's head into triangles now. Find all three sides of that triangle. Really feel that gluteus, starting, gluteus medius starting to work for you here. Three, two, and opposite direction. This is the last time here. You've got it. Push through it. Maybe you feel that lactic acid starting to build up. Know how good you're doing for your body. Know that you've made it on your mat. And you set this time aside for yourself. 
Go opposite directions last time. Three, two, last time, and lower back down. Head into that banana. Inhale, top leg lifts. Exhale, bottom comes to meet it. Exhale, both feet lower. So making sure that that top leg stays about hip height or lower because we don't want to use momentum. If we're using momentum, we're getting into those muscles that we're not trying to work right now. Really trying to activate that gluteus medius muscle, even the quadratus lumborum a little bit. I'm really trying to find those balancing muscles. Three, two, last time. And coming into that clam, bend both knees, lift your feet, keep your feet suspended in space. Like you're an astronaut in space, there's no gravity. As you exhale, lift that top leg only as far as those hips stay stable. Inhale, lower. Exhale, left, lift. Five here. Coming into this clam can really find that activation. So you might feel the burn all of a sudden. Two more, you've got it. Push through it, last time. Nice work, slowly release both knees, rolling onto your stomach, press into your hands, coming onto all fours once again. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Get any discomfort underneath of your knees or wrists, you take care of yourself. Send your right leg back behind you, bend your knee. This time we're going to point the toe. Exhale, lift that toe up towards the sky. Inhale, bring the knees in line. Exhale, let's lift. But again, not opening that right hip up towards the ceiling. Keeping it nice and controlled. Five, four, three, two. Exhaling to lift. Last time, I want you to hold your lift. Now flex your foot so your toes point toward, towards your shin. Little pulses here. Teeny tiny inch up, inch down. You've got this. Keep that collarbone nice and wide, nice and strong. Micro bend in the elbows, just like we talked about before. Five, four, three, two, and one. Both knees come back together. Give it a little shake out. Notice if you feel different on one side than the other. Let's do the other side. Left leg extends back. More of a challenge lift. Bend the knee, point the toe. Exhaling to lift that toe, inhale, knees come in line. Exhaling to lift, inhale, knees in line. Making sure that your angle in your knee stays the same. We're not trying to extend the leg. We're keeping the bend at the same angle, just lifting and lowering. Four, three, keep that micro bend in the elbow. Keep your chest nice and strong, abdominals lifting. Last time, lift your hold. Lift and hold, flex your foot so your toes point towards the shin. Little pulses here. Abdominals lifting, inch up, inch down. You've got to keep your breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Five, four, three, two, and one. Both knees come back down. Give it a little shake out. Knees widen, hips to heels, child's pose. You can stretch those arms nice and long. You can roll the wrists if that feels good. As you inhale, slowly roll back up onto all fours. This time, I want you to walk your hands forward slightly. Hips come in line with the rest of the spine. Collarbones broaden. Now, you can do this with the knees lifted or lowered. I'm going to choose lower today. Keep those eyes and the elbows towards the mat. So the insides of the elbows towards the mat, the front of the mat, so that when we bend the elbows, the elbows tickle the ribs. Keep those hips in line. Let's lower an inch. Collarbones widen, shoulders to hips, lower another inch. Inhale here, neck is long, lower another inch. Inhale, exhale, lower an inch. Inhale, so slow, so controlled, lower an inch. Inhale, exhale, feel those triceps, lower an inch. Inhale, exhale, lower an inch. Inhale, last time. Exhale, lower all the way down. Tops of the feet come onto the mat, hands come underneath of the shoulders. Hands come underneath of your forehead. Stacking one hand on top of another, forehead resting on the hands. Engage your abdominals, lift your belly button, lift those straight, strong legs. Let's draw circles here with alternating legs here. Five, four, three, two. Go opposite directions now. Keep the neck nice and long. Four, three, two. And one, relax the legs back down. Hands come underneath of the shoulders now. 
draw the elbows towards the ribs, belly button's lifting without pushing into your hands, lift your heart. Exhale, let's lower back down. Inhale, lift the heart, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Again, imagining that you're that care bear. Inhale, expand, open up. Exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale, lower back down. Curl the toes under. Slide your fingertips back an inch or so. Push into your fingers. Lift up into the down dog. One knee at a time, bends. Engage your abdominals here. Walk your feet towards your hands, coming into that gentle forward fold. Knees nice and soft, head and neck relaxes down. Bring your chin from side to side. Let's grab each elbow here. Really relax the upper body. As you inhale, start to roll up. Draw the navel in as you do. And roll the shoulders back and down. Let's step our left leg back one leg distance. Check in with your legs. Make sure your heels are in one line. Your back heel is slightly closer to the back edge of the mat than your toes. Front foot is facing forward. Hands come up to shoulder height. Shoulders fall away from the ears. Reach forward with your fingertips. From here, engage the muscles in the legs. So you'll see that my kneecaps lift away from the floors. Then when you're ready, hinge at the hips so your right hand comes down, left hand comes up. Now your gaze will naturally fall where it feels best. So either towards that bottom hand, right out in front of you, or towards that top hand if your body's asking for more of a twist. Listen to your body. Push down evenly through both feet and the four corners of both feet. Make sure the engagement's still happening in the legs. Lifting the kneecaps away from the floor. Let's slow our breath down, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Bring your left hand down to meet the right. Your right foot is going to pivot inwards. So now we're in a revolved separate leg forward fold. Relaxing down into it as much as it feels good. Head and neck can relax. Right hands are staying towards that right leg, either towards the thigh or the shin, or you can even bring your hands down onto the mat. Let's do the other side now. So walk your hands over towards the left leg, so you can have your hands on the thigh, the shin, or even down onto the mat. Head and neck can relax down. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose now. Really try to slow our breath down. Walk your hands back through the center. Bring your hands onto your hips. Engage your abdominals. Rolling back up, shoulders back and down. Let's pivot the left foot. So your left shin, your left outer edge of your foot is parallel to the long edge of the mat. And your right heel is now slightly closer to what was your front edge of the mat. Hands come up to the shoulder height. Shoulders relax away from the ears. Reach forward with your fingertips, then again, engage the muscles in the legs. So notice how your kneecaps lift up, then hinge at the hips, lowering that left hand down as your right hand comes up. Where does your chin want to reach to? Either it's up towards that top hand, or straight in front of you, or down towards that bottom leg. Wherever it feels natural for you is where I want you to be. Find your breath slowing down as you feel the muscular engagement in your legs start to heat up. Taking one more nice deep breath here, pushing down evenly through both feet. As you exhale, right hand comes down to meet the left. Again, pivot that left foot inwards, walk your hands through to center right away, then relax the head and neck down. This is just our separate leg forward fold here. Hands can come onto that thigh, the shins, or onto your mat. Head and neck can relax down if it feels good. Grab each elbow here, relax in your shoulder blades. Let everything hang heavy. Then hands come onto your hips, start to roll up. Pivot your feet to the four.
45 degree angle, so your toes point towards the corners of the mat. Send your hips down, and for your goddess pose, hands come up towards the corners, and then bend the elbows. Let's bring our chin mudra, so thumb and pointer finger come to touch. Now either holding here, hips are sinking low, knees pointing in the same direction as the toes, and if you'd like more, let's lift your heels, sink those hips down just a little bit lower, find the engagement happening in the legs, but see if you can keep upright with that upper body. Find your breath here. Again, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, so we're slowing that breath down, but we're feeling the heat in our muscles. Five-pointed star, reach your hands out towards the corners of the room. Heels can lower down so we can evenly push through the four corners of both feet. Spread your fingers wide. Can you open your heart, expand your heart? Bring your hands to the nape of the neck, clasping your hands here, drawing those elbows out. Right foot points towards the front edge of your mat. The left heel is going to lift completely, so we're squaring up our hips. Bend your front knee, coming into your horse pose. Open the chest here, draw those elbows back to the back edge of the mat. Inhale, hands reach all the way up. Exhale, fingertips come down. Relax your back knee down onto the mat. Feel free to curl up the back edge of the mat and place your knee on that. Uncurl the back toe, lizard pose. Walk your right foot out to the right. Let's come into a twist here. Walk your back knee back if you'd like more of an opening for your hip flexor. Right hand can come to your right thigh. Twisting open. Find your breath here. Walk your right foot back in through the center. Right hand comes to the outer edge of the right foot. Send your hips back, lengthen the hamstring of the right leg. Now if you'd like more, slide your right foot forward a little bit. See if you can open your chest from there. Maybe you'd like to slide that right foot forward even more, coming into your monkey splits. Inhale here, exhale if you'd like, and slide that foot forward more. Find your breath, open chest. Never feeling like you're pulling it to the point of overextension. We're just finding that opening, that release. Slide your right foot back in. It might not be graceful and that's totally fine. Curl the back toe under, lift your back knee, step forward, forward fold. Flat back, inhale, engage the abdominals. Exhale, forward fold, hold in your forward fold, relax down. Bend your knees as much as you need to, plant your fingertips, step back with your right leg. Coming into that horse pose once again, engage your abdominals, let's sweep the fingertips up towards the sky. Clasp the hands, place the clasped hands at the nape of the neck. Back heel is lifted completely so we know our hips are square to the front. Draw the elbows back, open your chest. Bending the front knee so it tracks over top of the ankle. And with your breath, I want you to find the softness of the horse. As you inhale, hands reach up towards the sky, activating that back leg. Fingertips sweep down, coming into that lizard pose. Release the back knee down, uncurl the back toes. You can walk that back knee back a little bit more. Left foot comes out to the left. Left hand comes to the left thigh. Let's twist open here to the left side. Collarbones are opening and find your breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Walk that left foot back in through the center. Left hand comes to the outer edge of the left foot. Hips come back here, lengthening that left hamstring. 
Now again, either staying here or if you'd like more, left leg can extend forward. See if you can open that chest. If you'd like more, slide that left foot forward more, opening the chest. Keeping those hips as square as possible. If you'd like more, you can slide that left foot forward more. Find your breath. Find the opening that feels best for you. So you might have a deep bend in your knee still and that's completely fine. Find your pose, your posture, your asana for you today. Slide that left foot back. Again, it might not be graceful. Bring both knees in line with one another. Hands come in front of you. Widen the stance of your knees. Send your hips back towards your heels. Child's pose. Relax the head and neck. If your forehead is touching a surface of any kind, whether that be the mat, or maybe you'd like to stack one hand on top of another, or one fist on top of another, and bring your chin from side to side, massaging your third eye. As you inhale, roll up. Coming into a seated position that works best for you. And let's come into a twist once again. As you inhale, both hands reach up. As you exhale, bring your right hand to the outer edge of your left thigh. Left hand gently comes behind. Twist open. Keep your chin parallel to the floor. Collar rolls wide. And breathe into this twist. Inhale, both hands reach up towards the sky, gently untwisting. Exhale, over to the opposite. As you inhale, opening back up into that neutral curve, hands reaching up, exhale, hands relax down. Send your left leg out to the left, sole of the right foot comes to the inner edge of the left leg. No hyperextension in that left knee though, keep it nice and soft. Left hand to the left thigh, right hand lifts up, shoulders relax down, reaching up and over. Try to keep long in the left ribs, so quite often we'll collapse there. I want you to stay nice and long. Notice where your gaze naturally falls. As you inhale, bring yourself upright. Now I want you to bring your fingertips just in front of you, one on either side of your right knee. Push into your fingertips and then bring your left foot in line with your right knee. Bring yourself upright. Left hand onto that left thigh. Your toe can point away if that feels better. Right hand up. Relax the shoulder, reach up and over. Again, same thing, making sure you're not collapsing in the left ribs. But breathe extra deep in the right side from your right knee all the way to your right fingertips. As you inhale, bring yourself upright, hands level with the shoulders. Then bring your right hand down beside your right thigh. Left hand can lift up towards the sky. Fingertips reaching up as your arm plugs in. Nice deep inhale here. Turn the palm to face the right side and bring that left arm to hug the left ear. Breathe from the toe to the fingertips. Then nail that left hand down. Bring your both hands in front of you. Left knee comes down. Right leg extends out to the right. Engage your abdominals. Roll up. Right hand to the right thigh. Left hand up. Shoulder relaxed down. We're reaching up and over. 
rooting down through the shin and the knee on the left side so you can reach up and over with your fingertips. Inhale, bring yourself upright, hands level with the shoulders. Bring your left hand down, right hand up. Again, plugging that right arm into the shoulder as you reach out to the fingertips. Find your breath here. Turn the palm to face the left side. And bring that bicep to hug the ear. Plugging in so that you can reach out from your fingers to your toes. Inhale, reach that hand up towards the sky. Bring both hands down. We're going to send our hips back and scooch that left foot out in front a little bit. So your left foot can rest to the inner edge of the right thigh. So we're doing the opposite side here. Right hand to that right thigh, knee nice and soft. Left hand lifts up, shoulders relax down, reaching up and over. Nice deep breath into the side body. So often that we forget we are three-dimensional and we breathe front and back, but we forget about side to side. And doing these side stretches can really bring us back into our body. As you inhale, bring yourself back through the center. Sitting in an uncomfortable position again. Inhale, hands reach all the way up to the sky. Palms come together to touch. Bring your hands down through the heart center. Bow your chin towards your chest slightly. Thank yourself for your practice today and for stepping onto your mat. For giving this time for your mind, your body, and your breath to all connect as one. A nice deep inhale. Exhale, sigh out any worries. Living yourself only with positive emotions. Let's do that again. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let everything go. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.